Today we are at the St. Philip and St. James Cemetery in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, giving thanks to our veterans and checking out one of the most powerful pieces of artillery of the American Civil War. This massive machine is mortar number nine, a model 1861 13-inch seacoast mortar cast at the famous Fort Pitt Foundry. It's a staggering 17,290 pounds. That's over eight and a half tons of cast iron. During the Civil War, this mortar was used at Vicksburg, one of the most important and grueling sieges of the entire conflict. Unlike traditional guns that battered walls, mortars like this one were designed to lob explosive shells high into the air and rain hot iron into enemy fortifications. At a 45 degree angle, with a 20 pound charge of black powder, this beast could hurl a 220 pound shell more than 4,200 yards. That's over two miles. A mortar like this could collapse barracks, destroy magazines, and keep defenders trapped in their bomb proof shelters. Today, mortar number nine stands silently here in Phillipsburg a rare and powerful reminder of the massive technological innovation and devastation of the American Civil War. If you love uncovering hidden history, make sure to like, subscribe, and explore more stories just like this one. And I really want to thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. And